He's fast, strong, has a metal arm. They call him the winter, I mean, they call him Hawkeye! Hey guys, Trickshot76 here, and I am back again with another action figure review of the Marvel Legends Odin Wave Hawkeye, the classic Hawkeye look that we have here. And I think it's a pretty good figure overall, just to start with. Um, like, I wanted this costume, but I didn't want to get the Toy Biz figure just because he looks sad. So I'm really happy we got this figure. So we're going to go over his accessories first, and then we're going to get into the figure. All right, so first we have his bow right here. It uh, came all purple, like, with no string. Uh, it was just a purple string that was plastic. It didn't move anything like that. But I decided to paint mine because I didn't really like the way that looked. And I think it turned out pretty good. So now he can actually shoot well he can't shoot stuff but it can actually look like he's shooting stuff in stop motions because the string can pull back and yeah and then we also have his quiver right here uh it's a lot like the quiver he had for the um heroic age or the matt fraction hawkeye you can see them side by side right here this is the new one this is the older one um i don't know i think it could use a little bit more paint apps i might add some on this one both of them actually like this one i might add some like brown for the arrows and then i don't know something on the quiver just to give it a little bit more color but yeah those that's the accessories so let's get into the figure all right so here's the hawkeye he's based on the basic um bucky cap mold that we've seen a lot of times already but it's still good mold and it works for him um he's got a lot of shiny purple on him especially on his arm which is just the winter soldier arm from the movie captain america winter soldier figure and uh I think it works because I get to go in for like the sleeve, but it still looks kind of like a metal arm just because there's a shiny on it or shiny paint on it. I think if they use the same colors they used on the boots, the dark purple, it would work a little bit better, but whatever. It's still cool. I like it. So his articulation is pretty decent. I mean, he, his head looks up that much, down that much, and then it goes side to side. I mean, it goes all the way around if you want it to. So it's pretty good like that. And then. He's got, well, you know, the basic articulation, ball jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist articulation, it spins, it goes down or up and down like that. His ab crunch kind of gets um, hindered because of this piece, which is like his, I don't know, they made this all, like all the clothing on in one piece, like one unified piece. So his ab crunch doesn't work as well. Like it still works underneath it, but it's... I don't know, this sticks out a little bit, and I don't know how I feel about that. And then it moves back that much. So it doesn't really look like he moves back too much or forward too much, but um, if you work for it, you can. And then, let's see, he's got waist swivel, which is underneath the flaps, whatever they're called. So it works, again, but it, like it's kind of restricted, but not really. And then he's got Oh, kick that goes up that high, upper thigh swivel, and then, yeah, like most of the new figures, they don't really kick back too far because the butt's in the way. Then he's got double jointed knees, upper or boot rotation, foot goes up that much, down that much, and then we've got the ankle pivot. So pretty standard articulation for the new Marvel Legends that we've been getting, but it's a good articulation amount, so that works. But yeah, you can take off his piece. There's his clothes right here, and then just put the arm up, and they will, if you take the head off too, hang on. And that is what he looks like without his clothes. I think it looks really weird, and I don't like it, but you can take it off if you want to customize or do something like that, Um, because I know a lot of people do customs, and then I don't know what you, I don't know who you'd make with the metal arm and everything like that, but you can. Well, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter, so this is nice weird look and i'm gonna fix it because i hate it all right back to normal that's so much better all right so then yeah obviously the quiver just goes into the hole in his back like that and then it sits there pretty well i mean you can shake it he won't won't come out you can make it either face this way or that way i think it should go this way just because the sleeve if i'm not mistaken it goes on the bow arm so you know when like the bow string comes back it doesn't mess up your arm if you're not shooting right, I don't know. But, so I just have it on that side. The one issue I have though, is that he doesn't hold the bow um, that well. 
Watch, now now he's going to do it. But I think it's just because the Winter Soldier arm, he doesn't hold it as well if, as past Hawkeyes have. Like, this past Hawkeye has more of a, like a clear gripping hand and a clear shooting hand. Like, the fingers are set differently. This one has, like, one finger back on the top, like a trigger finger, which holds the bow, and this, or which holds the bow string, and this one holds the bow, and it works good like that. But this Hawkeye just has two trigger fingers. Which isn't a bad thing, but it makes it more difficult to hold the bow sometimes. Uh, so you can technically have him hold it in whichever hand you want, but I prefer to have him holding it that way. Even though he can hold it in this side. And let's see. Because, nope, maybe he won't. If you pull fingers back, I don't know. Anyways, he doesn't want to hold it that way because I don't want him to anyways. But I think it's a pretty good figure, so now let's get some comparisons to the other Hawkeye figures we've had. Alright, here he is next to the movie Hawkeye and the past ah, Hasbro Hawkeye that we've gotten. Um, I don't know, the Matt Fraction Hawkeye, that's just the way I know it. Because uh, I've heard both of these being called the Heroic Age Hawkeye, so whatever. But anyways, um, this one's a little bit shorter than the other two. Like, damn. The tiny... Eh? JK, maybe he's not shorter. Anyways, he looks a t little bit shorter to me than the other two. But uh, they're all pretty cool. I think I might like this one the most. Just cause, maybe because it's the newest. Uh, I like the classic costume, even though I know it's a bit corny. But I think it's tied between these two. I do like this one a lot too, though. Uh, just because it's Hawkeye. I, part of the reason I like the Avengers Hawkeye the most is because he holds the bow in his right hand because he's left-handed, just like Jeremy Renner and just like me. But these two, they decided to make uh, Hawkeye hold it in his left hand and make him right-handed. But it's fine, you know, it's whatever, I don't care. It's no big deal. Uh, <laughs> but I guess if you wanted to, you could do like a swap of all of these and make fourth Hawkeye. Like uh, I've seen some people put a head swap on these or like a quiver swap. Um, I think I like this bow the best just because it's not all black. I mean, I get the movie ones was all black and then this one is more stealth or whatever. But I think I'm going to have them use this one in my videos just because it's fancier and purple. And neither of these two have that much purple to begin with. So I think having a little bit more might help. But I think that about wraps it up for this review. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button and comment in the... Have a great day.